So in this lecture, our developer team is going to create the application code or the Docker file, Ansible playbook, uh, or anything which is required to accomplish this project. So let's start. So my developer team is start working from their local system. So this is my local system. I'm in this location. And as of now, there is nothing. So first of all, I'm going to create a Docker file. So what is the content that we have in the Docker file? Let me come back to my this project plan. So I'm going to attach this project plan with this section so that you can refer it. And here we have all the steps right from very basic how to configure the Ubuntu systems on the AWS environment and uh, what all the required packages. So we have done all these steps. Now I'm going to start from here. So before starting creating the Docker file, you just need to configure your Git. Suppose there are two developers and both the developers they are working from their laptop and the developer has just uh, installed the git bash and they are just creating the files the coding file and uh, once they have created the file they are going to push the file to the github but how would you understand that this particular file has been created by which developer for that you have to first configure your git so the command is git config hyphen hyphen global hyphen hyphen list so two entries are already showing but uh, first time when you will be configuring the git bash you won't see such entries you have to configure it so let me show you the commands for that so command is git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name so it is very much required because when you are pushing the files from your local to the github if you have not configured it you will start getting the errors so this is my name and the email And with this command, you can cross check. After doing this, let me create my Docker file. I have already created the Docker file. Let me show you. So what this Docker file is actually doing, let me show you. It is just trying to download this CentOS 7 image. And uh, this is my mail ID. So whoever is uh, creating this uh, Docker file, you have to provide your email ID here. And uh, in this CentOS image, I want to install few packages like uh, Apache and Zip and Unzip. And then you can see I have just added this uh, URL. Add this URL. So what this command is going to do? It is going to download this photogenic.zip file into this location where www/html. Perfect. And then. You just go to this directory work directory is basically to change the location now in this location what we have we have the zip file which zip file this photogenic.zip you can go to this website and you can choose any you know file so after that you can see i have just fired this command it is in zip format i have used this unzip unzip this file and then you can see i have just uh, copy this content and put it in this location the same location and i have removed the unnecessary files and finally you can see i have started this apache service and i want it should be running in the foreground and also at the last you can see i have just exposed port number 80 so you can access this website using the port number 80 so that's a very simple docker file which i have created so let me copy and paste it here perfect let me save and come out from here so my this uh, developer has just created this docker file so this updated docker file will not be showing on your github for that you have to fire few commands so let me show you what all those commands so there are three stages for git the working area 
untracked area, staging area, tracked area and the local repository. So guys, if you are not aware how to use the Git, so first go through my this uh, Git course. I have discussed each and everything in very detail. So here I am just giving an overview how you can use these commands. But if you want to know the exact or the detailed information about the Git, then you have to go through my this Git course module. And after, you know, adding this file or modifying this file, just fire this command, git status. Here you can see your branch is up to date with the origin and main. So it is just, you know, checking the detail about your repository. And it is saying that one file has been added and this file is in untracked area. So it is simply saying here, you can read it, nothing added to commit, but untracked files present. Then you have to add this command, git add and docker file. I have added this file. After that, again, if I'll fire this command, git status, you can see that on your branch main. So let me show you one thing here, main. So here you can see the branch is your main, you can see here. And it is saying that your branch is up to date with the origin and main. So it is just simply saying your branch and changes to be committed. So it means you just need to commit the changes. Simply fire this command, git commit hyphen m and added a new file. So you can give any message here. So git commit hyphen m and then modify the docker file. And then you have to push this file to your GitHub repository. For that, you have to fire this command. Git push origin and the branch name, branch is main. So before firing this command, let me show you one thing. So as of now, you can see in this Docker file, there is nothing, only hi is mentioned. After firing this command, you will see that this file will be modified. So it was giving me error because it is saying that this file has been already created there. And uh, you have to first fetch this file from that location to our remote location. So I have just used forcefully. Now coming back here and click on it. Now here you can see we have this file. Suppose uh, again I am going to add this file. And here I am just adding one more port 443. So again you have to fire three commands. Get uh, first of all let me fire this command. Get status. You can see that it is throwing me one message that this file has been modified. So you just need to add this command git add and the file name, docker file name. And then you have to commit it, git commit hyphen amp. And after that, you just need to mention the message modified or added a new port. And then push git push origin main perfect let me cross check now here you can see one more port has been added so friend that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we'll understand few more things about the docker file